Hopper TV coming to you from Buffalo, but first we're going to start at the Niagara Falls. It's quite crazy. So there's the details on the American Falls. That was the observatory that we were up at. I didn't go all the way over, but you get the idea. So this is actually a viewpoint that gives you most of the American Falls. So we were out at Prospect Point, which is right there, and that's the American Falls. And then over here is another island, and that's the Horseshoe Falls of Niagara Falls. Building a new welcome center and you can see it's going to be open spring 2023. That's some of the information. Pause the video if you want to read that. Okay, we just walked across this bridge here. You can see the American Falls there. All right, now we are down canal side here in Buffalo. So it's about a 30 minute drive from Niagara. Niagara is its own city, but it's uh, about 40,000 people. It sits on the Niagara River. And Buffalo actually sits on the uh, Lake Ontario. So we're just kind of exploring around here on canal side. This isn't quite Lake Ontario, but it's like a hangout spot. I'm gonna try and get over to an anchor bar if I can. This is, you know, Buffalo Wings. Harboring hopes. I can give you guys a little bit of information about uh, Buffalo in general. Look at this bridge, just towers over the city like that. Look at a Navy ship there. It's kind of wild. Naval and Military Park. So anyway, 1.2 million people live in Buffalo. You would think that there would be some Buffalo meandering around here considering they have the name Buffalo. <laughs> and uh, also the Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo Bills, but nope. They say the name actually comes from the French more than likely, Buffalo. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please do hit the like and consider subscribing as we continue to show you around here. Okay, so they are really into the Navy, which is fine. I was in the Navy. I wasn't a submariner though. And I wasn't on a battleship. All right, so as we go through the town here past St. Joseph's Cathedral, we're back onto Pearl Street, which is actually where I originated my walk down here. They have a baseball stadium over there. I think it's Triple A. And they're playing a game right now. Also seen that uh, metro tram they have yeah we're just gonna keep walking around downtown here I did bypass the marina that might be an area you'll want to check out at some point but this is now the third structure I've seen like this one st. Paul's Episcopal Cathedral in terms of uh, people here I would say they are friendly. These are a very friendly, down-to-earth, you know, Midwestern vibe. I guess that makes sense that they'd be like uh, people from Ohio instead of, so they're more like people from Ohio than they are like people from New York City. So along here on Main Street, this is where the tram is. Now oh, they've got a Hilton Garden Inn. Aside from buses, so here's the Metro bus and rail. 
You can see there's the line. Just a slingshot ride. So this is Main Street in Huron. I thought that was a bar. Oh, what do we got here? We got Buffalo Savings Bank. It's ingrained. This is Janice. Right across the street from the Hyatt. Hyatt Regency. Let's see what they got in here. They got a bar. All right, they got a seating too. Okay, so here we are on Chippewa, and we are now going to cross the road. Give you a nice little look down at Main Street here. As we head over towards the, uh, some of the more buffalo friendly food places. I'm gonna try and get some buffalo wings, see if that uh, if they live up to the reputation, being that this is where buffalo wings come from. Prima Pizza, the cowboy. So this is Chippewa and Pearl Street. After this, we'll head over towards Allentown, which was kind of named Josh Allentown when the Buffalo Bills had the resurgence. They've, they joke around and call it Josh Allentown, but it's actually just Allentown. It's Bada Bing. Let's see, there's the cowboy. Man, this place is kind of happening, huh? I could see it in the evening times, this place really getting going. Chippewa and uh, Franklin Street would be where you'd go for this. It's a Sunday afternoon, so. Also known as the Theater District. Got this rooftop bar, Soho. Did you know that Buffalo is actually considered the best kept, best kept secret? That's its nickname. Hey, there's a hotel right in the heart of it all, Hampton Inn and Suites. If you don't like noise, you probably don't want to stay there, but if you don't mind the noise and you want to be in the party, stay at the Hampton Inn and Suites. So this is the tap house that I was told to go to. Supposedly they have really good buffalo wings. I hope they're open. See what the vibes look like out here on a Sunday afternoon. I want to say it's around five o'clock. Oh, they got Cinco de Mayo on Chippewa. This is the place you want to be, huh? Kind of reminds me of uh, Tennessee. What do they got that place in Tennessee on Nashville, Broadway? All these people that are just coming down here and have a good time, huh? So I've been walking this Franklin Street for a little bit now. I feel like there's some uh, activity along this Franklin Street here. I'm on Franklin and Tupper. You see they got a lounge right across the street. But uh, I keep pressing on here. So I'm in this like neighborhood here in Allentown, headed towards Allen Street. This is Virginia Street and Franklin Street. Man, Buffalo is like 
just a bunch of old buildings. You get the, the impression that at some point in time, Buffalo is just going to modernize. And there's just going to be a whole bunch of construction going on, modernizing the whole city. It's a nice place. Just old. It's due. It's, it, I mean, preserve some of the historical areas, of course. But it's definitely due for a uh, modernization. And then it'll be great. I mean, <laughs> you compare this to a place like Amsterdam. I mean, Amsterdam's just got a bunch of history, but... Bring in a revolution of tech jobs, you know, tech technology, you got a great, great place, preserve places like the Hamlin House, the American Legion, and then just figure out what's worth keeping and what's not, and all right, we are on Franklin and Allen Street now in Allentown. There's the cherry blossoms on both sides. Cafe 59. Cafe 59 looks like it's got a lot of people in there actually. this place. We got a barber shop. It closed on Sundays, so Sundays just generally closed. Anyways, Allentown, I've been told, is place to be but unfortunately it's Sunday so we're not gonna get the best side of Allentown I guess if I was here yesterday maybe this is Dow uh, Delaware and Allen and I see construction over there I've got to do some laundry so on that note guys thank you for watching this episode of Island Hopper TV from Buffalo People from Buffalo were saying, why did you come to Buffalo if you're an island hopper? Well, we go all around. There's some islands on Lake Ontario or on the River Niagara. So, <laughs> anyways, it's a nice town. I like the people here. Very friendly, very friendly. Uh, especially if you go to the pubs, people are chatty. And I like that. Uh, you know, Boston... They're not so chatty when you go to the pubs, especially the locals. But here in Buffalo, they're chatty, friendly. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ohio, Cleveland. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.